So you want to learn to cook from scratch. You're in the right place. Let me ask you these five questions. Do you say yes to any of these? Uh, do you so find yourself cooking a lot more from home these days, but you need a shake up? You're looking for some new recipes. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself looking for a crash course on how to cook from scratch? That's what this is. Do you want to learn new skills and some new recipes as well, but you want to do it from the comfort of your own home? We've got you covered. Did you maybe not know that you can make curries from scratch, including the curry paste? This is a class for you. Do you like to go for takeout foods, but it's starting to get a bit expensive and maybe potentially you'd like to make a bit of a healthier version at home? This is the course for you. Are you or maybe a young set in your home, the teenagers, the preteens, are they looking for a fun activity to start indulging in the kitchen skills? Well, honey, Scratch Cooking Fundamentals is the course for you. This is part of what I call an NLS and like a necessary life skill, NLS, right? Don't we all need to learn how to cook from scratch? These are the basics. We cover 10 topics in this 10 class series. Let me go through those. We do eggs. Second class, we get into salads and salad dressings. We get into foods that fuel. We get into curry. We get into two classes on pizza because it's one is not enough. You got to make some sauce. You got to make some dough. You got to make the pesto. And then the next week you got to bake it because you can let it ferment a little bit. Yeah, we do. Then we get into fermentation. Speaking of which, there's a whole class on fermenting. Then we get into some really cool stuff. So we do a little takeout, fake out for Vietnamese. And then we get into what I call kind of the, what did we call it? The... We called it the DIY wonton challenge. Think Master Chef Canada, but in a recorded cooking class kind of scenario. And the last and final one by request was to make a sweet treat in the real food vein. And so we zeroed in on strawberry shortcakes. So those are your 10 classes. There's a link through wherever you're watching this to catch a little bit more and get into more depth of what you can expect from this cooking class. But these are 10 essential basic life skills that we develop knife skills. We get into how to make food from scratch. We get into the power of choosing your ingredients. And I'll have you know, this series of classes is for everyone. Whether you are eating real food or you're new to the concept of eating real food, and you tend to rely on a lot of packaged foods. Whether you have a histamine issue, you are paleo or gluten-free, or you need dairy-free options, or you're vegan or vegetarian. This class fits the bill for everybody, and we insert how to go about making your choices and your food choices based on whatever dietary approach you're currently investing in. So this is truly a class for everyone. Everyone gets to sit at this table. Let me give you a bit of the history on this class. This was a class I taught for junior high kids at our local Calgary Waldorf school here. And I taught it for about six years, developed it over the course of time with the children, bringing to the table what it was that they wanted to learn and fine tuned it over the years. Then the pandemic hit. And then my own daughter was in grade nine. She'd already taken this class with me, but she was getting quite sad. And then the kids were feeling like they were missing out on their Friday electives. So Eliza and I decided that we would put this class together from our home, record it to Zoom, and invite all of the kids from our junior high class to come join and open it up to other people. And that's what we did. We had 72 people joining us that first round. So we hit record on those sessions and that's what you get in the Scratch Cooking Fundamentals. It was originally designed for the junior high set, but honey, if you like food, if you like flavors, and you wanna learn some new skills in the kitchen, this is the class for you. So come join us. My colleague Eliza and I, a colleague, she's my teen. She, this, this was recorded three years ago when I'm making this video. So she's so little. She knocks it out of the park and she brings in such a different perspective to this class of some of the pieces she's learned along the way. And it's just brilliant to hear her think about those beginner people who are just starting to learn how to cook. And she's helping prod you along the way to know how to measure liquids, how to think about combining flavors. She adds such a special flair to this. So why don't you come join us? So whether you're following a paleo protocol, an AIP, gluten-free or dairy-free approach, or you need some low histamine options, or maybe you have food sensitivities, or 
maybe you're just wanting to know how to make real food at home. Every module is going to give you the options that are going to work for you. I tell you, honey, everybody's invited to our table. This is a class for the curious. This is a class for the foodies. This is a class for the flavor hounds. Honey, this is a class for you. Find the links to register and get more information on this course series wherever you're catching this video. We'll see you there.